Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a review on basically the only three colognes that I own right now. Um, I went through kind of like a crazy experience to where I lost almost all my possessions. And one of the things I lost was my pretty big cologne collection, but it was kind of refreshing because I had too many fragrances to even enjoy. I was kind of like, didn't really want to sell them. It was kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. And there were so many good fragrances that I just never got around to. So unfortunately I didn't appreciate them as much. So this isn't really as much of an impressive video of like the only three colognes that I own. It just happens to be the only three colognes that I own after getting rid of pretty much all my stuff so so the first cologne i got is versace pour Homme. now this is just one that when i would think of a really cheap fragrance that works almost everywhere in southern california it's hard not to go with versace pour Homme. um it smells just as good as it always has versace pour Homme has like a very strong projection immediately but it goes away after about an hour hour and a half um i do think that some of the scent lingers but it does die down quite a bit quite a bit but nevertheless it's really really impressive to me uh the smell is great i like a name brand of versace I was just like, it's kind of like an extra little cherry on top. It doesn't really mean as much, but you know, if somebody getting into fragrance, it, it actually is pretty nice having that brand name. And somebody who doesn't know about fragrance will also appreciate that Versace a little bit more. Um, the, the projection is, uh, to me, it's it's doable. It's great. And then the scent to me is a little bit um, above the average. To, it's just nice and sexy, but at the same time, not really um, too out there. It's, it's, it's not really too out there. But it's also not too out there and it's not too cheap smelling either. I really like Versace Pour Homme. So um, the second fragrance I got is uh, First Instinct Blue. Now First Instinct Blue, this happens to be just something I saw for a really good deal. I think like at Marshall's or something. And I believe this fragrance kind of went for like $25 to $30, somewhere in that range. But um, I think I found this one for about $20. This is just a solid everyday kind of fragrance, a nice backup style fragrance. Um, to me, it kind of smells like Fierce Blue in a way. Um, it's it's pretty decent, it's pretty nice. I think I would prefer the First Instinct Extreme, the built, I think I would prefer First Instinct Extreme more than First Instinct Blue, but that's just me personally. I really, really like it. Um, you know, more likable than anything, doesn't really have as much of a specific kind of DNA, doesn't really have as much of a, a like a longevity, in person. doesn't have as much longevity, or it has probably less projection than Versace Pour Homme, but a little bit more longevity or about the same. Really good fragrance. I just like, I just picked it up because it was good and it was also like $20. So the last fragrance I got is Mont Blanc Legend, which is a Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce clone. Now, now I don't know if you've been following my channel, but Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce is my favorite fragrance of all time. And I used to have several copies of the vintage bottles of it. And there's so many different formulations of things that smell like Fierce. It's actually unbelievable. It's really hard to wrap your head around all the different kinds of smells. And you know, are you somebody who really picks apart those fragrances or are you somebody who like kind of thinks they all, all smell the same so Mont Blanc Legend is just fan fantastic like it's hard to say which one I would like more Versace Pour Homme or the Legend um because they're all they're both so good in like different aspects like I think that the Versace Pour Homme would just dominate in like a hot door I think the Versace Pour Homme would dominate in an outdoor hot weather type fragrance environment or a top. I think Versace Pour Homme would dominate in a hot weather or, you know, basically outdoors. And I think that uh, Mont Blanc Legend uh, would, be, would be a little bit better for those intimate situations, for those like kind of like nights out. But again, it's not probably the most night out kind of fragrance I've ever smelled in my the whole my whole life. But at the same time, it's like it's just a little bit. It's a different kind of vibe, but they're all but they're both very very good, very very sexy, and something that I think is gonna put like just just like if if you get smelled by somebody, whether it be a guy, girl, whatever, it's just gonna like improve just the overall appearance that they have of you. Anyways, guys, those are my three fragrances that I own right now, which are Versace Pour Homme, First Instinct Blue, and Mont Blanc Legend. I love all of these. I would say that uh, First Instinct Blue is probably my least favorite of the three that I own right now, but um, those other two, Legend and Pour Homme, are just fantastic. I love them, super cheap. So um, do you guys have any other suggestions for fragrances that are cheap, like $30, $40? I'm looking to get you know some more. I've been spraying these pretty heavy, and um, yeah, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of these three fragrances down below. Let me know what fragrance I should get next. I'll be very interested to see, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.